Hmm. The Underdark. As if we didn't face enough dangers back up on the surface. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by Mind Flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. You know, I've been thinking, and I think there's something I should tell you. Nothing big or terrible, just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> it's just that I happen to be a... Uh, uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. <laughs> right. Well. <laughs> Glad we got that out the way. So... Oh, was there anything else? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Yes, and no. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. The Underdark has a certain menacing beauty to it, though I'll be happier admiring it from a safe distance. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? For a split second, you see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was... uncalled for. Not an eventuality I'm entirely unfamiliar with. Nevertheless, please don't try that again unless I invite you to. We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Can you believe this is my first time in the Underdark? The world is so big! Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. 
Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as Paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. I've rarely had to venture this far below the surface. Rare is the underbeast that takes to the sun. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil's Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There. Middle of somewhere. I don't like this at all. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Fuck. A cambion. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Easy, easy. <laughs> I'm here to help, not harm. Consider your predicament. One skull, two tenants, 
and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. That's what separates us from the devil, soldier. They think our greatest strength is a weakness. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. One horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak, the Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator, come to burn the Sword Coast to ash. Well. Not counting the fuckers that need a good hurting. Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. A devil? I didn't take the blade for a fool. I'm... A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karlak, tearing through demons across a blood-red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the Blood War. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof! Clear as summer sky! It's over, Karlak! It's time you feel the sting of the blade! I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldurin's helm, I... No, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No! Devils cannot be trusted! Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters better than anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the Blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I am not what you think. Shit! Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, 
thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Fair. <laughs> but still, the man's got a reputation for being lethal with that blade. I'm glad it's on our side. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. It means that a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Feed if you must, Astarian. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. I do so very like spicy food.
What were they doing here? 